Hello and welcome back to another edition of Transfer Talk on Football Daily, the best place for all the juiciest transfer gossip going around the world of football. Now let's get started. Chelsea have already dropped a staggering £200 million in the market this summer, with Kai Havertz the latest to join Frank Lampard's new star-studded project. But is Lampard finished yet? Absolutely not. Amid all the new arrivals, the Englishman still hasn't signed the goalkeeper he craves, having grown tired of Kepa's dodgy displays. But he might not have to wait much longer. Last week, the Daily Telegraph revealed the Blues were in negotiations with French outfit Rennes to sign their keeper Edouard Mendy. And now The Athletic reports that a deal is close to being finalised. Mendy has only been on the books at Rennes for one season, and has only played two league and campaigns in his career. But that hasn't stopped the Senegalese international quickly becoming one of the most sought-after keepers in French football, especially after helping Rennes see their Champions League place for the first time ever. Chelsea had been linked with a whole host of keepers, including the expensive duo of Ajax's Andre Onana and Lille's Mike Mignon. Though having already loosened the purse strings this window, the fact the Mendy deal is valued around a modest £18 million could be the reason why they have pursued that path. At 28 years old, he isn't the youngest keeper on offer and doesn't carry the most experience. But as long as he looks more assured than Kepa between the sticks, we doubt any Chelsea fans will mind. Rian Brewster is back in the headlines after reports have emerged Liverpool are willing to sell their young forward. Ever since he burst onto the scene during England's Under-17s World Cup win back in 2017, Brewster has been a man in demand. And that has only increased after last season, where he scored 11 times in 22 appearances on loan for Swansea. Now 20 years old, Brewster is ready for the Prem, and there is no shortage of clubs willing to give him that opportunity. According to The Guardian, Aston Villa are the front runners for his signature. Though that may all change now, they've just announced the transfer for Ollie Watkins from Brentford. Even then, Dean Smith is still weighing up a £16 million move for Bournemouth's Josh King, having missed out on his teammate Callum Wilson. Returning to Brewster, if the villains don't stump up the £20 million Liverpool are asking for, then there is every chance Sheffield United or Crystal Palace will. The Telegraph claim both are keen on the England under-21 international, with Palace desperate for a new forward having resigned themselves to losing Alexander Sherlock on a permanent deal. Even Brighton have registered interest in Brewster, having already secured Adam Lallana from the Reds this summer. Brewster has admitted his dream would be to stay at Anfield, but with competition for spaces tougher than ever at the Champions, now would be the perfect time to build his profile elsewhere. Before we move on to the next section, just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss another great video. Manchester City look determined to teach Napoli a lesson after reports have emerged they are pursuing alternative targets to Kalidou Koulibaly in defence. The Italian club are desperate to sell the Senegalese centre-half in order to press ahead with business elsewhere, and believe City were ready to meet their £60 million plus asking price. But it turns out everything is not what it seems. Their president Aurelio Di Laurentiis revealed the Sky Blues are proving impossible to negotiate with as a result of the 2018 Jorginho deal that saw Napoli snub City and sell to Chelsea at the last minute. And now Pep Guardiola wants De Laurentiis to sweat a little longer, as he turns his attention to Atletico's Jose Jimenez and Sevilla's Diego Carlos. Carlos has also been tracked by Liverpool, with media outlet 90 Minutes reporting that the 27-year-old could be available for around £35 million. Meanwhile, various reports say Manchester City have even had a £62 million bid for Jimenez rejected, with La Gazzetta dello Sport claiming Diego Simeone is desperate not to sell his Uruguayan star was a release clause set at £109 million. This could all be a tactic to make Napoli lower their asking price for Koulibaly, though the Italians will be relieved to see Atletico refusing to play ball with Jimenez. The Manchester Evening News believes Koulibaly's agent is in England right now to thrash out a deal for the 29-year-old. And after a year of endlessly covering this on Transfer Talk, we hope the big centre-half finally gets the move he is after. But City fans, who do you prefer? Go for Koulibaly or try for a younger, cheaper alternative? Let us know in the comments below. From one defensive giant of the game to, well, not quite another, but James Tarkovsky could still be the subject of a big old transfer tussle this summer. The Burnley centre-half has consistently been one of the most solid defenders in the Premier League since 2017, and has even forced his way into Gareth Southgate's England plans in that time. The 27-year-old has always been linked with a move away from Turf Moor, in particular to Leicester, but nothing ever materialised. However, West Ham United looked determined to test Burnley's resolve, with Sky Sports reporting the Hammers have already seen a £27 million bid rejected. That's no surprise at all considering some of the lofty sums paid for English centre-halves, and Burnley are apparently only interested in bids closer to £50 million. 
That hasn't deterred West Ham, though, with the Evening Standard claiming they have prepared a second offer of £30 million plus add-ons. David Moyes is said to be determined to reinvest the £18 million received from the sale of Grady D and Ghana into Tarkovsky, in order to appease fans furious at the decision to sell the 22-year-old to Premier League rivals West Brom. But for Tarkovsky, this is hardly the blockbuster transfer he would have dreamed of. West Ham finished six places below Burnley last season, and are a far more volatile club than the steady ship he currently sails on in Lancashire. Sean Dyche has already let Ben Gibson join Norwich on loan, so we'll have little interest in letting another prize defender walk out the door. For our headline story, we are talking all things Manchester United. After news broke that Solskjaer still wants three new signings to follow Donny van der Beek's arrival at Old Trafford. And yes, one of those is still Jadon Sancho, but enough on him for now. The most interesting position they are set to address is at left back. David De Gea currently appears to be working a charm offensive with Sergio Reguilon on international duty, as he tries to convince the Spaniard to head to United next. The 23-year-old is a man in demand after a stellar season for Sevilla, and could be available for as little as £27 million. However, the Daily Mail claims talks with his parent club Real Madrid have hit a snag over a possible buyback clause, which the Red Devils have little interest in entertaining. If not Regulon, then an alternative could be Dynamo Kiev's Vitaly Mikalenko. The Manchester Evening News believe the 21-year-old is being closely monitored by United, who scored four and assisted seven last season. But they won't be the only clubs interested, with a number of Italian sides chasing the £14 million rated Ukrainian international. And last but not least, there is Alex Telles. The FC Porto star Abola in Portugal believe is in negotiations over a move to Old Trafford. The 27-year-old is more than ready for a shot at the big time after registering a ridiculous 19 goal involvements in Liga Nos in 1920. Porto had originally offered him to Chelsea, but they ultimately went for Chilwell. This has left the door open for United to sign the Brazilian, who has only 12 months to run on his contract in Portugal and could be captured for nearly £23 million. They'd better get a move on though, because Wolves are in the hunt too. And we will discover later on in the show, no club knows how to raid FC Porto better than the Wanderers. Solskjaer also wants a central defender and attacker, but may have to wait another season for his principal targets of Sancho and Upamecano. However, a left-back should be arriving this summer. It just remains to see which one will be walking through the door. But United fans, who do you want to see at left-back next season? Let us know in the comments below. We finish at Wolves, who are well and truly under the spell of Portuguese super agent George Mendes. Just this week, it was announced they had shattered their own club record by signing Porto's 18-year-old forward Fabio Silva for a massive £36 million. And now it appears Wolves are ready to pillage Porto again, with a move for 20-year-old Vitor Ferreira. The midfielder, better known by his squad name Vitinha, looks set to join on a year-long loan with an £18 million obligation to buy. It seems a lot of money considering he only played eight times for Porto in Liga Nos last season, but once again Wolves appear more than willing to listen to the wisdom of George Mendes. Vitinho would become the seventh player under Mendes' Gesti Futer banner in Nuno Santos' side, having continuously directed his clients in their direction over the years. Diogo Jota, Ruben Neves and Rui Patricio are all markers of their successful partnership. And don't forget, Alex Telles could well be on his way to the Molyneux too. It's uncertain whether Vitinho would jump right into the first team at Wolves, but with interest growing in their initial batch of Mendes-inspired Portuguese imports, his arrival plus the signing of Fabio Silva suggests the West Midlands side are preparing a second generation should their biggest stars depart. And that's all we have time for today, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Bye for now.